hey guys welcome back to my channel if you are watching this video that means that you are ready to start a podcast and you are like girl how do i get this podcast going everybody is popping up with a podcast and i'm trying to hop on this like i'm ready to do my own podcast well if that is you then keep watching because i'm going to teach you how to start your podcast in 2022 so of course my name is lashonda smith if you're new here hey girl okay I'm known as the first year business coach where I basically help new business owners with their first year in business. And business is different. Like sometimes you might wanna have a podcast for your business, a YouTube for your business. Maybe you're considering starting a podcast to kind of be your long form content for your business. Or maybe you're a content creator and you love to talk and you're interested in starting a podcast so that you can give your opinions and share your thoughts and become a thought leader in a specific topic. Well, podcasting in general is going to be great for you if you like to talk. And girl, I like to talk. Okay, so I also have a podcast. The name of my podcast is the First Year Business Podcast, which you can actually click the link below in the description box if you're interested in checking out my business podcast. But that's not what this is about. I'm supposed to be helping you, girl. My bad, my bad. Let's go ahead and hop right on into the details. The very first step when starting a podcast is to brainstorm the details about your podcast. So you want to know like what your podcast is going to be about, the main topics that you're going to be covering, what target audience are you going to be targeting with your content, like who's going to be listening to your podcast. Are you going to be doing just audio or video? Me personally, I decided to do video in audio because it's hard to market just an audio based podcast. And I find that for the purposes of why I started a podcast, it would be a lot easier for me to promote my podcast. And just, I prefer to watch video podcasts, but everybody's difference. Your preference may be, you know what? I ain't trying to get dressed. I want to just be able to grab my mic and talk and not have to worry about any other things behind that. So audio might be better for you, but you want to know before you start if you're going to be doing a video podcast or an audio podcast. Another thing you want to keep in mind when you're brainstorming is are you going to be doing a solo podcast or are you going to be co-hosting or are you going to need a co-host this is kind of big because if you are starting a podcast and you decide to have a co-host then you guys are going to need to brainstorm these details together because it is going to become your podcast as a group like together and so it's going to be very important that you're on the same page but if you're doing it solo like my podcast is a solo podcast solo solo okay so i get to call all the shots i get to make all the plans i get to pick all the topics and that's just my preference but maybe you're a little nervous and you're like you know what i prefer to have a co-host with me so it could be more like a conversation then that's definitely a good option as well but you want to know that in the brainstorming phase which way you're going to go another thing you want to make sure that you brainstorm or i guess add to the list of things to work out before you get started is what platform is going to host your podcast so they have a free podcast hosting site that's called anchor i'll go into details about those type of things in another video but like for anchor during my experience or based on my experience when i used anchor although it is free it was very hard if not impossible for me to figure out how to get my podcast on other platforms like apple um apple podcast google podcast um, spotify like those type of places I never could get it on there because it's technically hosted on Spotify. They don't have a really good customer service or customer support system. So it's not really anybody you can reach out to to help you with that. And so you want to know if you're willing to pay. Like right now, I use Buzzsprout. Buzzsprout.com. And I love it. I love it. It's easy. It's easy to follow. It was easy to set up. I think it's like $12 a month. And for me, I prefer that one. They also have Podbean. They have a couple other ones. I'm not sure of all the names of them, but I know the really popular ones are like Buzzsprout, Podbean, Anchor. I think there's another one that I'm not thinking of off the top. But you want to know who your host is going to be so you can know what type of investment that you need to get ready to prepare for. And they're not expensive, so it's not like a big investment, but still something you want to know ahead of time. After you've done all of that, at the end of your brainstorming, you want to actually brain dump 
some podcast episode ideas. So once you have your topics down, you're like, hey, I want to talk about relationships, or I want to talk about politics, or I want to talk about, I mean, there's so many things you can talk about business, I want to talk about friendships, whatever, whatever your podcast is about, you want to see how many episode ideas you can come up with. Because if you can't come up with more than like 10, then you might not have a strong enough topic and you might want to broaden it, broaden it just a little bit so that you're able to have different ideas kind of come up that you can utilize. I know personally, I feel that if you're starting a podcast, you like to talk and I'm sure you have a ton of things that you could talk about. So I don't think you have any issues with the brain dumping of the episode ideas. Moving on to step two. After you've done your brainstorming on the details about your podcast, now you are ready to pick a name for your podcast. Picking the name is really gonna be up to if you have a co-host, if you want the name of your podcast to include your name, like the Jasmine Star Show, for example, I, I listen to that podcast or the Jasmine Star Podcast, I think it's called. And you can do that, like if you feel that you want to talk about that, but or if you feel that you want to include your name in the podcast title or the name of the podcast. The only downside to doing that, especially if you're new and you don't really have a strong following just as of yet, if you're a new business owner or a new content creator, people are not gonna just be going around researching your name. So I feel like using your name as the name of your podcast is more so for people that already have an established brand. But if you're new starting out, you might want to name your podcast based on the niche that it's in or based on the type of topics that you're gonna be talking about. So the reason why I named my podcast the First Year Business Podcast is because I wanted all first year business owners, if they searched anything about business as far as a podcast or anything like that, they would directly know that my podcast is for them. It's your first year in business, the name kind of speaks for itself. So it's gonna be very good if you can somehow come up with a name that also incorporates the purpose of your podcast or who you're gonna be targeting in that podcast. That's just a little quick tip. Step three is buying your podcast equipment. So now that you brain dumped, you picked your name, you're ready to like start the whole process of getting ready to record. This can be easier than some people make it. You don't have to have a big production. All you need is a mic. Like I have a Blue Yeti mic, which is in the description box below. I have all of my podcast setup equipment in the description box, but this is the mic that I use. You can use the headphone mic. I mean, you don't have to have anything super expensive when you're first starting out. You really just wanna get used to doing podcasting for one. But I think I paid maybe $100 for this mic, and they have something that's cheaper. I just knew that I was gonna be doing podcasting a lot, and I wanted to make sure I had a pretty good mic, and this one had really good reviews, so that's why I picked this mic. You also want some headphones. Now, I don't personally use these, but originally I bought these headphones for the podcast. I personally don't like the way they look when I podcast. I don't like this look. <laughs> That's just my preference though. So what I do is when you're using a mic, you definitely want to have some type of headphone so that you can kind of hear how you sound through the mic. I use headphones, I'm trying to find it. I just use some simple headphones. I almost want to say, I don't even remember where I got these from. You know you have headphones that just linger around the house and you just kind of use them you don't even remember when you bought them so these are here and I'm sure they weren't more than like 10 bucks but you could use like air what do you call them AirPods. I don't have Apple so I don't know the name of the products but you can use like AirPods or whatever just pick something and then keep it moving you don't have to have fancy equipment I have a ring light that is set up right here and that's only because I do a video podcast. So if you are planning on adding or including video in your podcast and you wanna make sure you have a camera, I'm literally using my phone right now. I use my phone to record my videos on YouTube and for my podcast YouTube channel. So it's not really 
Like I don't have to have some fancy camera. I don't have to have a whole fancy like studio setup. Now when you are buying your studio equipment, you do want to keep in mind where you're going to be recording. So some people they get a recording space, like they'll go to like a co-working place or anything like that. And a lot of co-working spaces have a podcasting room now and it has like the stuff on the walls like the soundproof stuff and you know like it has a lot more of the stuff so that if you don't want to buy all that fancy equipment and you just want to go somewhere and record your podcast instead you can just get a co-working space membership fee or something or get a co-working space pay the membership fee and record there so that's an option but if you want to record at your house which is what i personally recommend then just make sure that the area that you have or that you plan to podcast in or whatever or record in, you want to make sure that it doesn't echo. And you want to make sure that you do it at a good time of the day. And I feel like I'm going into tips and I'm trying to tell you how to start a podcast. So let me hush and move on to the next step. <laughs> okay, so step four is practice podcasting. Do not just think you're going to have it on that first episode. I practiced for at least a week before I ever did my first podcast episode. And let me tell you why. You can be so ready to do your podcast until you start doing your podcast. So for me, you have to get used to, especially if you don't create content on a regular basis, you have to get used to being in front of the camera. You have to get used to talking and holding a conversation with yourself, especially if you're doing a solo podcast. If you're doing a solo podcast, you have to get used to keeping the conversation going without anyone responding to you. And you will find yourself messing up. You'll find yourself saying, um, or like repeating the same word a lot. Like my word for whatever reason is so. I say so, so much when I am recording videos and it grinds my gears. And I'm still working on it, but I was able to peep that when I was practicing, because you want to re-look at your episode or your practice episode to see like, okay, the lighting was kind of off, the mic is messed up, I don't really like the way the mic sounds, or I wasn't recording and I thought I was recording. Like you'll get all of those technical errors out of the way before you start your actual podcast episode. And you'll also be able to kind of gauge how long you talk. So the goal for my podcast is normally like around 30 minutes. Sometimes it goes over and sometimes it's under. But you want to make sure you're not talking too much, especially at the beginning. You don't want to be talking for an hour. No one's going to listen to it. Not at the beginning. Like Unless you have an established brand, you're asking a lot of your audience to listen to an hour podcast and they don't know you yet. So you want to try to make sure that you're able to wrap it up within the time frame that you have, that your goal time frame is. And practicing is going to be really good. If you have a co-host, this is going to be a great time for you to do a practice run or a couple practice runs just to get used to co-hosting with each other. Who's going to say what? Who's going to end the podcast? Who's going to start the podcast? How are you guys going to introduce the podcast or the episode or all of those small details that you don't think about until you start recording. And then you're like oh okay and then you make the needed adjustment so when you do do your first podcast episode it's more seamless it's a lot smoother there's less difficulties there's less tech issues things like that because you've already practiced and done like trial and error before you ever did your first podcast episode step five is to go ahead and start getting your channel art created your podcast cover created this is when you want to start getting all of those small details created so now you get to create your cover I do not recommend you create your own cover unless you are a graphic designer even if you do know how to do graphic design there's something about a podcast cover that just trips me up personally i design all my stuff for the most part but i had the hardest time designing my podcast cover <laughs> i don't know but if you could do it do it just make sure it doesn't look cheesy just if you're gonna do it but i recommend you get someone else to create your podcast cover you can go on Fiverr. They're super inexpensive on Fiverr. They have some really good ones. You just need to make sure that for the most part, 
you want to have a photo of yourself on the podcast if you're co-hosting you might want to have photos of both of you guys on the cover and then have like the text with the name of your podcast you don't necessarily have to have your name on there you can have like in very small writing like hosted by da 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 or whatever but you want to make sure the name of your podcast is really out there like you want that to kind of like be the show of the cover and then if you're going to do video you also want to get your channel art for your youtube channel or wherever you're hosting your video podcast on you want to make sure that you get your channel art your profile photo and those things together so when you post your first episode you already have that another thing that i prepared myself for when i was starting my podcast is I knew I was gonna be on YouTube and I knew I wanted each episode to have a different photo for that episode. So I went ahead and during this step, I created my default thumbnail options. Like I created YouTube thumbnail templates that would be used for my podcast cover. And if I'm able to, I may drop like a a photo example right here so that you can see what I'm talking about and I basically just change out the photo and change out the titles and change out the episode number so I can have a seamless YouTube channel like look aesthetic I personally went back and forth about having me like an actual thumbnail of me like this when I'm doing my podcast on the cover for my thumbnails and so I decided to just create a template and use that it may change later but this is the time when you want to create that stuff and make those decisions and then also if you're going to have a different cover for each podcast episode this is the time when you want to create the template for that if you don't do that what will happen is just the podcast cover like that will be your episode cover for each episode if you don't create that step six is plan your first episode girl we are ready to plan our episode you could do like a welcome episode this one could be short and sweet you're basically just introducing yourself you're introducing the podcast you're telling your audience like this is what you can look forward to this is what we're going to be talking about on this podcast this is the purpose of the podcast and now you're getting into that that's what i would recommend your first episode be just like welcoming people to your podcast and telling them what it's about and stuff like that during this stuff as well i didn't add this in my notes but you can also plan out your first 10 episodes so this way you know you can plug in a couple different examples of episodes that you're going to be having coming through within the next you know weeks or however you're going to be posting once a week twice a week that type of stuff you can go ahead and plan out your first 10 so that way if you're like really really riled up because when i did my first welcome episode i was ready to do my next podcast episode i'm like hey i'm i'm feeling this like let's keep going so have a list of the different ones that you want to do if you want to and then you can move on to step seven and step seven is it's time to record now you can record your first podcast episode i am going to create a video on how to record your first episode i'm not going to do it in this video because this video will be super duper long but I am gonna do a video specifically on how to record. So if you would like that video, post a comment below. Let me know your questions when it comes to recording your podcast. Like what do I record with? What software do I use? Things like that. But now you're ready to record your first podcast. Moving on to step eight. Now you're ready to edit and post your first podcast episode. I'm gonna be honest with you, you don't have to edit it. When I first started, I did not edit. That was the reason why I did my podcast. I was like, I want something that's smooth. I don't wanna have to do a lot of editing. So I literally just did my podcast all the way through and I posted it just like that. And there is literally nothing wrong with that. It doesn't have to be like this show, like YouTube, you have to edit. Like it's, you can't just do a video and then not edit it. But podcasting is more of a conversation and so it's more natural to just let it naturally flow and so you can either edit it if you choose to edit it if you have like sponsorships to start out with which i doubt it if you're just starting a podcast you probably don't have sponsorships but if you have like an intro like a song intro for your podcast you might have to edit that in there i didn't even do that guys what i did was i had a song intro and then i just started with the song intro and then i just let it go right into me talking that was it 
So I didn't have to edit it at all. You don't have to edit either. But now you're ready to post your episode on whatever platform. This is when you post it on YouTube. If you have a video podcast, this is when you post it on to Buzzsprout or Anchor or whatever your hosting platform is. And that's that's the step. Whenever you post your first episode, I didn't share it. I didn't share it. I didn't announce it. I didn't let me posting my first episode be like the launch of my podcast. And here's why. The next step is for you to actually get your podcast hosted on all the different podcast platforms. Like this is when you need to get it hosted on Apple Podcasts. Google Podcasts, Spotify, they have like Pandora and they have like a whole bunch of other like random ones that you want to get your podcast on because people are going to be listening to your podcast on all different types of platforms. And so it takes a good two to three weeks to get hosted on all of these platforms. It definitely takes about two weeks to get two to three weeks to get it hosted on Google or Apple Podcasts, which is like the main platform that a lot of people listen to podcasts on. And it also takes about maybe, I wanna say maybe like a week or so to get it on Google Podcasts. On Spotify, for me, I think it just went right on there. And then the other ones, a lot of those go right on there like really quickly. But for the main platforms, it takes, it took about, it took, I can't even talk. <laughs> It took about two to three weeks for me to get my podcast hosted and ready to be listened to on all the platforms. And so the reason why you don't want to announce it yet is because people can't find your podcast yet. Obviously they can find it on YouTube, but they won't be able to listen to it or have your podcast pop up on the other platforms. So I didn't officially launch my podcast to the public until after it got launched on all of the platforms. And so now that you have your first welcome video, use that video to get hosted on all of the platforms before you post the other ones. And now we're on to step 10. Step 10 is go ahead and plan out all of your quarterly content. So I will plan for the next three months. If you already took the step to plan out your first episode and you took that time to plan out your next 10, then depending on how often you plan on posting, you can go ahead and disperse those up through the next three months. So I personally post once a week. And if you plan on posting once a week, then that's like four videos a month. So you want to go ahead and plan out the number of episodes that you're going to need for the next three months. So I hope this video was helpful for you. I love podcasting. It's like the best thing that I could have did for myself. And so if you are starting your podcast, what type of podcast are you planning on starting? Tell me in the comment section below if you've already launched your podcast. I would love to check out your podcast. Put it in the comment section below so we can check you out, okay? And until next time, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.